What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. So for a while now, you have seen Liz and I putting up a bunch of shiplap up in the living quarters, and uh, we've got a bunch more to do today. Yeah, we are ready to get this off the shop floor, so let's get going on it. All right, guys, so we have just piles of boards that Liz and I have milled on our Harbor Freight sawmill down at the bottom, and those are all going to be cut in a shiplap. Most of them are plain and or sanded, thanks to Liz. We've been cutting the groove for the shiplap with this dado blade on the table saw for a while now. We have ran, I don't know, hundreds of board feet through this setup right here, and it works okay. Um, but when you start getting way out here off the edge of the table, you get a little bit of movement this way as well as this way. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to make a new fence for the table saw. We have this two by four that we're going to cut into pieces dado a groove into that and try to make a uh, better system to try to hold this plank a little bit better as it gets fed through there yeah yeah i think like anything that we do hopefully will be a little bit easier than what we have been doing although it's been working it's not the most practical for how many shiplap boards we are actually making so let's see if we can make something a little better all right so let's do Two at 24. Two at 24. So our plan with these two by fours, we're going to dado kind of a notch in each side and that notch is going to hold our plank down to the table as well as straight. So the very first step that we have in this whole project is to get a groove notched out of these two by fours. Okay, you guys will be glad to know that our idea is working really, really well, actually. It's going yeah. a lot faster than this would normally take us um, without these two little fences right here. So, great idea, babe. Thank you. Yeah, it works out good. Obviously, like, there's always refinement we can do to this. Right. Um, but, yeah, for being just really crude and uh, rudimentary, it, it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked a lot better than trying to hold it against the fence, you know, with no jig on it. Right, for sure. So, we, we just busted out, like... I don't know, close to 10 boards in like 10 minutes or so. Yeah, That's that like, would have taken us like an hour before. I know, we'd be like yelling at each other. Oh, or, it was like really yeah. tedious trying to keep the board flat. Now these mm -hmm. hold the board a lot flatter. They keep the, you know, the board down to the blade. Sometimes these boards are just slightly warped or cupped a little mm -hmm. bit. And uh, yeah, it keeps that board much closer to the blade. So you end up with a much nicer cut in the long run. Um, and those were some pretty bad boards that we ran through yeah. those too. I don't... They're all really wavy. Yeah, I don't know why are... we let those go the way we did there. Yeah, the cut from Liz and I when we cut them is really mm -hmm. wavy. So hopefully these other boards that we're getting into are a much straighter board. And yeah. that'll work even better if the board is really straight. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot more boards to do, so we'll see. But I think at this rate, we might be able to get these done by lunchtime. Yeah, I think so too. Um, the only improvement that we really need, if we could spring load this so we're not having to move this outside one every time, mm -hmm. you know, if we, something like that. I know they do make those magnetic uh, feather boards, so maybe we could do something like that, but still it's not holding the board down, you know. I right. really like that these are holding the board down to the table. For sure. Um, so yeah, maybe if we could somehow spring load this or get a piece of angle iron and spring load that somehow. So yeah, yeah, lots of time to think now while we're running these boards in. It's pretty mindless. It's very easy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. Well, let's get back to it and maybe we can finish these up. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Let's 
too bad. Yeah. These should all be the same. Looks and like it. Four there that are the same. Okay, so we separated these boards into a couple of different piles based on how wide they are. These ones here are probably the widest. So right now Mike is setting up the fences to match that width, get that pile taken care of, and then move on. We decided to remove one side of the fencing because the boards are varying just slightly in sizes and we're having to adjust with each one. Good morning. We have everything all cleaned up. All of those boards that we were working on yesterday are finished. They have the shiplap groove in them and we are ready to get started on this wall right over here. So this is the wall as you're coming up our stairs into the loft. We'll start at the bottom, work our way up. Should be pretty fun. Here you go, Bill, up one. Uh, seven foot, 11, 95 and a quarter. 95 and a quarter.
So I think we have like the most difficult pieces finished. We had to cut out what four outlets. Um, and now we're moving up from like the lower spot. So we're going to be having to cut out the windows now, but the outlets was the most difficult part, I think. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say so. Um, I'm just like over here looking at everything we have left to do. And yeah, we are, we're not on the home stretch, but we definitely yeah. got the hard part. The hardest part that we have now is we're above the stairwell, but yeah. we got this uh, little scaffold set up and I think it'll work out just fine. It'll be nice um, with that long part of the wall. We're not gonna have to cut the boards. Really and being right much. in between the windows, we're yeah. not notching anything out. It's a straight cut. Totally. Um, so yeah, we, yeah, up until, you know, we have to notch this window, this first window here, but um, then we got a little run of just straight cuts. So. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the last piece that we were going to put up last night um, above one of the windows, Mike and I got it up there, nailed it up, realized we accidentally shiplapped the same side. Um, we can't do that. So we took it down and we're gonna retrace this piece onto a different piece with the correct shiplap groove. Okay, you guys, we are on the last strip. I think we need probably three more pieces. Um, this has gone really smoothly. Because it's rough cut lumber, there's a lot of like kind of imperfections. One of them, definitely my mistake. This piece here sucks that it's like right front and center in the middle, but I sanded it instead of planed it. So it's a lot more yellow than these other boards. The planer takes a lot more wood off and brings it down to like the lighter um, wood. Whereas this is like more yellow. I think eventually Mike and I, like we are definitely going to either stain or paint. Um, it'll just be a little bit noticeable until then. And then where's the other spot? Right up here. You can see it a little bit. There's gonna be a bit of a gap. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of figuring right here, but I think we can figure it out. What do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, since it's rough cut, and some of these boards are like pretty bad. We need to definitely, change the blade. I think it was a bad blade on the sawmill.
That is another wall down. Bit of a fun project, right? It's kind of a process. Yeah, the shiplap, it always seems like it's going to go really easy and we put it off for a while for a reason because it gets really tedious when we're going to, you know, cut around windows and around the outlets and yeah, but we got it done and it worked out well. And this is probably the hardest section of the whole house. It's above the stairwell. Right. So we were working on scaffolding and that's why we were putting this off for a long time too, I think. We were kind of just dreading it, but now yeah. that we have it done, it's really nice. I know, I feel like every time we do the shiplap, we're like, why the heck do we wait so long? This is so nice. Yep. Like this wall I think is just so beautiful and it's nice because it's kind of a focal point here in our living room and it just makes us want to keep going and like get the rest of the walls done. So we have one more wall in the living room to do the ceiling and the floor, yep. obviously. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a big wall and we're super happy to have it finished. Yeah, the last like really, really hard part is just gonna be the ceiling above this opening. But yep. after that, everything is pretty much smooth sailing. We are running out of windows we have to cut around. Yeah, we're running out of outlets that we have to cut around. Yeah. Cause we've already cut them. Yeah, I know. Getting there. Yep, lots more to mill. We have more trees down there um, that we need to just keep milling. We have a little bit more left over from this project uh, that's still down in the shop. I think we might be able to cover another small wall or just like save it for a bigger project. Yeah. Not totally sure yet. More to come though, that's for sure. We are still loving the shiplap, so we're going to finish our entire house with it. Um, and it's going to be beautiful and well worth the wait and well worth like all the work that it takes to complete something like this. Yeah, definitely. We're super stoked on it. And we are very thankful to you guys for watching mm -hmm. this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're contemplating doing some shiplap or if you've never tried it, go for it. It's yeah. super easy. Um, you know, I, it is tedious when you go to cut it, but as far as like making the shiplap, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, and it's definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely worth it. So for we sure. appreciate you guys and yeah. uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, thanks guys. See you next time.